That's one mean green eating machine. You don't want to bounce on your ground press. So you have it set where it'll just fall in time to her? That's a emergency stop. Okay. You can also get to your float pressure by hitting that button. And then you can you know, touch the screen. You can, I can see now the head's off. You won't be able to do one with those buttons. As long as the head is on one and two. Yep. Yeah. And before they had it set up, so number two would, uh, as soon as you hit two, the head would go down and it would lock on the line. Now I don't like that for contours because once you get to the center of the contour, you see you turn around, come back to that center strip, you hit that number two, your head goes down and it'll lock on a contour or a, a line on there. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it locks on the line over here, so you go, whoop, yeah. <laughs> and then it doesn't work very good. So to get auto steer, you have to hit auto. Okay. You can adjust the sensitivity, one to ten. Okay. Now one is going to be really, really tight, and ten is going to be like driving an old worn out Dodge, where he just goes all over the road. One is? Or ten? Ten. ten. All right. Play of that. I would usually say four to seven is usually where most people run them. Okay. One is really, really, really tight. tight. Okay. You have to turn your steering on. The button up there. Okay, so the steering, yep. it has to be on yep. to do the compass. I have to do an outside round first, right? Yep. An adaptive curve will just, when you turn around, it will fall in that previous pass. Okay. I run it in rear roll. Yep. And that'll handle it itself. Oh, yeah. Well, that's cool. You drop it down and it. Yeah, yeah it goes like it's near around 1100 psi of full pressure. Going to the outside around. Yeah, go to the outside. Let's round. do this. But yeah, this is going to be how wide you want. Do you want it? I want it. We can go with more. Yeah. We can yeah do that. There's so? one more. You can go down. to be putting to good use the wind rower that Alex from Sloan Implement in Bloomington pulled a few strings and got us for the weekend and uh, we're out here mowing with it and we got about 30 acres to do and I can tell you now that this thing is a real time saver as far as cutting hay goes.
cut everything up here at the main farm and this is all second crop that we just did now we're going to go down and cut some very overripe first crop and uh, see how well she can take that because from what i heard it's pretty thick down there so we're gonna head down there and see how well she fares now we really like this thing after using it for a while we can see why people would get self-propelled windrowers rather than pull type mowers because you're not always looking back and it's right in front of you it's easy to drive and it's easy to turn that's another big one uh, you can literally turn on a dime with these things so um yeah we're gonna head down and see how well she fares down there and uh i hope you guys enjoy this video but uh, be sure to check out all of our other ones be sure to Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all how farms work. Uh, I'll see you next time, guys.